The original Pleasant Ridge Elementary School was built in 1909 when the first phase of the facilities master plan started in CPS. They knocked down this school and they were going to rebuild it down the street. The community said, no, we want the school back on its original site. The community came together and advocated for the school to be reopened as a Montessori school. We are the only neighborhood Montessori school in CPS, but also the only neighborhood Montessori school in the region, and at one point, we were the only one in the nation. As a neighborhood Montessori, that means that we have students who come and go throughout the year, but we don't have a set enrollment, we don't have a cap on our enrollment. If you live in one of the neighborhoods that are within our boundary lines, you attend our school. My husband and I were looking for a home and the school district was the most important aspect of our home search. We toured Pleasant Ridge Montessori and absolutely fell in love. The parent involvement and the compassion of the teachers. We loved how peaceful the environment was. We want our children to be global citizens and to be caring and compassionate and that's what Montessori is teaching. When I walked through these doors and when I started talking to people in the community and talking to people who sent their kids here, the passion and love they felt for it, I knew it was someplace really special that I just needed to try out, even if it was for a year. My kid was here for two weeks and he said, I never want to go anywhere else. We want to prepare our students to, to have choices in life. So when they leave us in sixth grade, I would love for them to go to Gamble Montessori or to Clark Montessori, but more important than that, I want them to be successful no matter what high school they go to. My staff works so hard to ride that delicate balance of continuing to be passionate about the Montessori philosophy, but making sure that they teach with integrity to what the Ohio standards are so that they're prepared. We are not a hippie school, which trust me, as a new principal coming in, I looked on their rugs everywhere and you're stepping over kids to get to things. But when you look at what they're really doing, it's higher level thinking. It's independent and critical thinking. I knew that there was mixed ages in the classroom and I didn't know how practical that would be for a learning environment. And what I saw when my son entered a mixed age room was that there was so much collaboration and learning beyond what was on a piece of paper, that there was a lot of teaching happening from both the younger students and the older students. And that was something that was really important to us, that our child learned how to interact with people beyond his own age, um, because that's the reality of the world today. When you think about the skills that are being released as the skills that people need to go into the workforce now, and it's those people skills. In a Montessori classroom where peers are supporting each other with self-checks, where older students are helping younger students, I feel like we're doing an awesome job of preparing students to be a part of, of society.